Hey, what's up YouTube? In this problem, we have to integrate dx over the quantity x squared plus x times the square root of x. Let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. So one idea is to let u be the square root of x. And if we do that, the hope uh, is that this will turn into something um, that looks a little bit more manageable. So let's try it and see what happens. So we'll let u be equal to the square root of x. Now normally we find du in the next step, however, we have a square root function here that's going to lead to a nasty derivative, so it might be better if we square both sides first. So squaring u, we get u squared, and squaring the square root of x, we simply get x. Alright, so now we'll differentiate both sides. So on the left hand side we'll get 2u du, and on the right hand side we'll get dx. Now let's go ahead and make the substitution and see what happens. So we know that dx is 2u du, so we can replace that. So 2u du. And on the bottom we have x squared. Well, x squared, what is that? Well, we know that x is equal to u squared. That would mean that x squared has to be equal to u to the fourth. So let's go ahead and replace uh, x squared with u to the fourth. And we know that x, uh, that's going to be u squared, so plus u squared. And we know that the square root of x, that's u, so times u. All right, I think we can factor out a u on the bottom. Let's see, so this is 2u du. Let's pull out a u on the bottom. That will leave us with u cubed plus, uh, and then I guess that would just be u. Actually, we can factor out more than a u on the bottom. I was thinking factor out a u because the u's will cancel, but we can actually pull out a u cubed on the bottom, so let's do that. So we have 2u du, let's pull out a u cubed, and that will leave us with u plus 1. That might be better than just pulling out a u. I was thinking we should pull out a u to cancel the u, but pulling out a u cubed uh, is better. You want to factor everything out that you can usually. Um, so one of the u's goes away, so we end up with the integral of 2 over, looks like u squared, uh, and then u plus 1 du. All right, good stuff. Just trying to be really careful. Uh, I have not done this problem before, so. I think we can use partial fractions on this, so let's do it. Yeah, this is partial fractions time. So 2 over u squared, u plus 1. So u squared is actually a linear factor. It's repeated. It's really like u minus 0 squared. So it's actually linear, and it's repeated. So we write this as a over u, and since it appears again, we write b over uh, u squared. And the last one would be c over u plus 1, just using partial fractions, right, setting everything up. Now when you use partial fractions, the next step is to clear the fractions. So um, we have to multiply both sides, in this case by u squared parentheses u plus 1. Same thing over here, uh, u squared parentheses u plus 1. So on the left-hand side, everything cancels, so we get 2 equals. And let's see, we have a over u times this. So we're going to be left with a, one of the u's goes away, so we get u, u plus 1. Plus, now b over u squared, looks like the u squared goes away, so we're left with b, u plus 1. And then last but not least, we have c over u plus 1 times this. So we're left with c u squared. All right, when you're using partial fractions, the first thing you should always try to do is plug stuff in um, that makes things go away. In other words, what can you make u so that variables vanish, right? Because we have to find a, b, and c. So u equals 0 uh, will certainly work for that purpose. Because if u equals 0, we get 2 equals all of this is 0, the first term is 0, plus b. And then 0 plus 1 is 1, so I'll, I'll write it, 0 plus 1, plus 0. So we just get 2 equals b, and success, we have b. 
Um, let's see, what else can we plug in to make things go away? Looks like negative 1 would work. So if u equals negative 1, we get 2 equals, let's see, so the first term goes away, we get 0 because negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Uh, the second term goes away, so plus 0, and we're left with c times negative 1 squared. Negative 1 squared is 1, so we get 2 equals c, so c is equal to 2. And now we just have to find a. So I guess we can plug in any number we like besides 0 and negative 1 to find a. Let's plug in 1. So if u is equal to 1, we have 2 equals a times 1 and then 1 plus 1 plus b. But we know what b is. b is 2, right? b is 2. And then u plus 1, so 1 plus 1. And then c, but we know what c is, c is 2, so 1 squared. So we have 2 equals, looks like 2a plus, and then this is 2 times 2, so 4 plus 2. So 2 equals 2a uh, plus 6, subtract the 6, so you get negative 4 equals 2a. Therefore, a equals negative 2. Going kind of fast. These partial fractions problems take forever. All right, so now we have the a, b, and the c. Let's plug them all back in. So, um, so our, instead of integrating this, we're going to integrate each of these. So we have three integrals, right? We have the integral of negative 2 over u, du, plus 2 over u squared, du, plus... 2 over u plus 1 du, right? So it's a 2. I wrote a c. So it's the a is negative 2, check. b is 2, check. c is 2, right? Plugging them back in here, uh, back in here for a, b, and c. All right, I'm going to go ahead and rewrite all this down here so I have more room to work. So this one, I'm going to come down here, is negative 2, 1 over u du. That's a really easy integral. It's an ln. Uh, this one, we can bring the u upstairs, and we'll use the power rule. So 2u to the negative 2 du. And for this last one here, um, I'll, I'll go ahead and write it again. So plus 2, 1 over u plus 1 du. You can make an easy substitution to do this one, right? You can let w equals u plus 1. So dw equals du. So this ends up being... Let's see, negative 2 ln, absolute value of u, um, plus 2. Here we use the power rule. So we get u to the negative 1 over negative 1. Plus, and then we said this one was 2, 1 over w dw. All right, this is equal to, I forgot what u was. I think that was the square root of x at the very beginning of this monstrous problem. Yes, it was. So u is equal to the square root of x. This is negative 2 ln, the absolute value, square root of x, minus, right, that negative can come up, 2 times 1 over u, so 1 over the square root of x, plus 2, natural log, absolute value of w. w is u plus 1, but u is the square root of x. So square root of x plus 1 and then plus c. Wow, pretty tough problem. Almost nine minutes, and I rushed through a lot of it. Um, so I hope this video made sense. Uh, very tough problem. Uh, and, I mean, the initial step is key, right? So you look at this, and you ask yourself, what can you do to make it look better? Um, maybe this, right? And it actually ended up working. That's it.